You see, this could change things, because if we can get her to land tits down, then maybe she'll bounce? Or possibly splatter? You see what I mean when I say scientific venture? We have a hypothesis that we want to test, and we also have a thought who is quickly approaching orbit. The moon seems to be shocked with the atrocities that I'm committing, but... That's perfectly fine. Okay, I've already got craters all around me that would make Dragon Ball Z fighters jealous, so I'm not beyond piccoloing his judgmental ass. What's up, guys? Welcome to Buddy Toss, uh, a game with a simple concept that's asking a complicated question. Like, the idea is we, as represented by this HGH-fueled stack of man meat, need to toss our buddy and then preferably catch him before he turns into a bone splinter filled puddle on the sidewalk. Now where things get interesting is if we do manage to catch him, then we're gonna throw him again even further. And further, and further, and further. And that seems like the kind of thing that can get out of hand really quickly. Now, I don't know what the upper limits of this is. Are we just gonna toss him over a building? Or onto an airplane? Or into space? Like, what exists beyond the edge of our universe? I don't know. I'm just some guy with giant biceps and tiny testicles. But I'm willing to bet the buddy has been trained to find out. As will the next buddy, because I'm pretty sure that one's not going to move anymore. Do you remember when growing up, if you did well on a test, you'd get a gold star from the teacher? I, I mean, some of you may remember that. Some of you may only remember the taste of glue. But if you had kept those gold stars, you'd be able to spend them on steroids, I assume. Yeah, lots of steroids. It's weird that you inject that stuff into your ass, and yet everything from the waist up looks like the Incredible Hulk, and everything from the waist down looks like Mary Poppins. <laughs> it just doesn't really add up. I feel like that's a mystery that Buddy isn't going to be able to solve for us today. I should really be focusing on him. He is the brains of the operation, after all. Surprisingly, I mean, that, that's why we can only use him once. It's because once that brain hits the ground, well, a concussion is not our major concern, to be perfectly honest. That'd kind of be like saying that you don't want to crack the egg when in all reality you're throwing it into a blender. <laughs> not bad, 181 meters. I think we can still do a whole lot better, though. We, we need more steroids. Hold on a second. What's the difference between power and size? I thought they went hand in hand. Like, I'm already so big that I can't wipe my own ass. That's what Buddy gets used for as well. Can I really get even bigger? Okay. Yup. We can, in fact, get bigger as well. I'm telling you, one minute you're doing well learning cursive, and the next you're the size of a Volkswagen. So now I'm 300 pounds, 8 feet tall, and look like a gorilla tried out for Jersey Shore. I can only imagine Buddy is thinking to himself, why can't I get a little bit of that? I'm a pretty slender dude, but that just helps me toss you even further. New record right off the bat. Oh, I'm willing to bet being taller makes it easier to catch him. We almost got to an airplane that time. I'm pretty sure I saw a blimp, so I may be right in my guesses. I'd really appreciate it if these games stopped pulling a Bill Cosby and fingering me when I don't want them to. What, what is it? You want me to spend a hundred stars on... Oh... What? Is some kind of escaped convict? <laughs> well, he's definitely hairier than the last guy. Well, can he throw further? Because that's really all I give a shit about. <laughs> His arms are definitely thicker and grosser. Oh. I'm only just now realizing there's a giant billboard sign with what looks like Buddy's face on it. I probably shouldn't be looking at these things because I'm going to accidentally drop our dead weight celebrity. Damn it, Cosby. What do you want from me now? I only just got introduced to the hairy sausage armed inmates, but now I got to become an athlete? That might work. I don't know if I would call buddy tossing an Olympic sport, though. Like, he definitely has the rampant drug abuse of one, but I would say it's more so, like, art meets scientific venture. Maybe with a touch of war crimes. Why is it so difficult to catch him every time he reaches a new height? 
Well, I've been throwing around a couple of practice buddies in between takes to try to grind up some stars, but like, I, I just wish I had a better understanding of what I'm investing these stars into. Yeah, I can make myself more powerful and I can make myself taller, but what is that doing for me? I would assume that power makes me throw further and that being taller somehow makes it easier to catch. Like there are only so many things that I can influence in this process. And I'm not feeling much of a difference, but then again, Buddy might be considering he is now a couple kilometers out into space. Okay, yeah, keep going, guy. This is getting ridiculous. We're well beyond air traffic now. All right, we're getting places. It looks like these magic stars can be spent on more than just bull hormones and changing my ethnicity. We can also get a different buddy. A shapely female buddy. You see, this could change things because if we can get her to land tits down, then maybe she'll bounce or possibly splatter. You see what I mean when I say scientific venture? We have a hypothesis that we want to test, and we also have a thought who is quickly approaching orbit. The moon seems to be shocked with the atrocities that I'm committing, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, I've already got craters all around me that would make Dragon Ball Z fighters jealous, so I'm not beyond piccoloing his judgmental ass. You know what, I'm tired of listening to you, Cosby. I don't care what kind of weird cyborg thrower you're selling because I'm not buying. I'm gonna spend my money on being more powerful and being bigger and getting her further into space because I really feel like we're onto something here. Like, I knew that this was gonna get quickly out of hand, but again, I don't know how far things are gonna go. And this only feels like the beginning of the game. Like, I don't know how far I am into this video, but it might only be minutes. This city is quickly disappearing. Okay, Moon, yeah, I get it. You're judging me, but she's going to be well beyond you soon enough. Why does the sun look like it just got a surprise finger in the butt? Damn it, sun, why are you distracting me? <laughs> See, my major concern now is our athlete may soon pass the peak of human capability. Like, if we keep pumping him up, he's eventually just going to pop like a balloon. That being said, 26,000 meters, not good enough. So let's get stronger, let's get bigger. Let's hope that you're not gonna get replaced by a cyborg soon. I love that these are my concerns, the force that's being applied on the thrower and not the buddy. She should be burning up on re-entry, but I guess she's wearing a lead bra. <laughs> Doesn't matter so long as we avoid air traffic. I'm surprised we haven't punctured a blimp yet. You'd think something like that would happen, but... Oh, I'm stupid. That's, uh, damn it. That's not the sun, that's Mars that's getting a surprise prostate exam. It might be difficult to constantly beat my best. My fears may have actually come true. Like the athlete may be past his peak now. So if we go ahead and get ourselves the cyborg athlete, that might help. I gotta be honest with you guys, I wasn't expecting Doomfist from Overwatch. I, I thought we were gonna get Robocop from Robocop. But either way, he should be fine so long as he doesn't get distracted by a, a pinky and Uranus. I, I meant that as in the planet. Now, come on, dude, you're making me look bad. How hard can it possibly be to throw a woman into Mars, especially when Mars isn't expecting it? It's definitely your prime directive, and I have no doubt that Elon Musk is only like one more divorce away from doing it himself, so could you maybe help me help you? 19,000 meters is pretty friggin' good, but we're gonna need just one more! Oh my god! Even if it's not being suggested to us, we could replace our thought with another buddy, but I feel like I found a bit of a trick here. It's very analog, so... Uh, that, that didn't count. How it works is I'm gonna keep my finger right above the cyborg, and every time the woman goes underneath my finger, I'm gonna tap on her. I'm not gonna think about catching or, or timing or looking at anything else in all reality, because I actually am using a tablet now. Normally I would use an emulator for this kind of stuff, but the tablet is already paying dividends. Come on, one more, one more. I just want one more, come on, man. I get the feeling that it's actually impossible. They just want you to keep grinding more and more stars so that you have to keep watching more and more ads. 
I'm just gonna hope that I don't get canceled for saying this, but maybe Cosby is right. Maybe we should just invest our stars in getting rid of the old obsolete cyborg athlete and instead go with a uh, furry. I don't know what kind of acid-fueled fever dream I'm looking at right now, but it makes me want to escape orbit, so maybe it'll make her want to escape orbit as well? He's got big beefy arms, I suppose that's really all that matters. Come on, dude. I just spent 10,000 stars on your strange yiffin' ass, so if you could pass the moon, okay, that's not bad. It's just a good start in all reality. Okay, one more. Every time I say one more, they miss, but I'm gonna time it. Yes! Oh, we're way out there. We're, we're past... Which planet is that? It's hard to tell because I don't think they're particularly in order. I, for, I forgot to tap. My brain was thinking. Come on! If that red planet is Mars, then the next planet should be Jupiter. But that blue planet was definitely not Jupiter. If the red planet was Venus, however, and that blue planet was Mercury, which would make a whole lot more sense, it means we're throwing this thought in the opposite direction. We're gonna toss her into the sun. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really attached to any of my buddies, which is a good thing because, uh... Oh. No, we've got more planets. So what was the other red one? And d damn it, I, I stopped thinking everything comes so quickly and I think I saw Saturn out there with some dingleberries hanging around it. I don't know, man. I, I just, I throw people. I, I, I'm not a space biologist. Well, good news, guys. I just watched three TikTok ads, none of which had underage twerking, so I would consider them to be false advertising. But they made our furry bigger and stronger and... Warrior, uh, what? That's not the face of something that wants to toss a woman. That's the face of something that wants to toss something in a woman. That being said, I am gonna hand over Buddy to our new friend here because he's got real thick arms and she'll be with Harambe soon enough, I'm sure. Come on, I, I run through Buddy's like tissue paper, but I still think we're making lots of good progress here. You just gotta keep it up. Please, please, please. Okay, one more. Once again, I'm gonna say it and possibly jinx myself. Oh my God. Uh, the one disadvantage to having a tablet is that you constantly want to throw it. Well, they peer pressured me into buying another buddy, but uh, I don't wanna throw him. He looks heavier and full of beer. I really do think that we can get our thought into the far reaches of the universe. We just need like, a couple more tosses in all reality because everything scales so ridiculously. Like one minute you're greeting people on a blimp and then the next you're passing stupid or Jupiter. Two more tosses. Come on, there we go. That's the good stuff. Okay, what's up? Yeah, I, I didn't call you stupid or I, I swear it was just it rhymes. I'm sure you got a lot of that in school. I, I just, I can't believe it, man. Am I choking or is the game rigged against me? It really feels like it's rigged against me. It would make sense for the developers to do that because like you could either toss her a couple dozen times or you can watch one TikTok ad and earn just as many stars. They want you to take the shortcut, but if you can make easy progress, then that's not gonna work. So they have to rig the system. And this is totally not an excuse for me being bad. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna jinx myself. I'm just gonna toss her. Yes! Oh my god, she's long gone! <laughs> That's over a million meters! Oh, oh, we got this. We got this. Everybody stay calm. Focus. Focus. It was instant. I, I'm pretty sure I hit my mic there. I, I can't even blink. If we can get outside the solar system today, I'll feel pretty accomplished. Like, I I'm not gonna promise that I'll make another episode of this, but I mean, if you guys enjoy it, drop a like on the video now because I'm dropping my buddy like a bad habit. Oh my God. I gotta be completely honest with you guys. I don't even know what to expect outside of our solar system. Like, it could be an alien race. It could be a giant turtle. It could just be space dust and space rocks and empty space. You really have no idea. I'm sure there's somebody who knows, but like common knowledge ends at Pluto. So I'm not gonna feel too embarrassed. Plus I'm essentially just a muscly gorilla. 
I, it's gotten to the point now where I'm just like spam clicking, hoping that I get it, but that might be screwing things up. You know what? The monkey is now considered old and busted. He's out. He's been replaced with the two story tall football player. That's the new hotness. And I swear to God, like it honestly doesn't matter how much fun I'm having anymore. And I am having fun. Like, don't get me wrong. This has been like some of the best commentary that I've delivered in a video in a very long time. I'm really enjoying myself. But if I screw up tossing Buddy again, I'm just gonna toss myself off a bridge. Oh, oh my God. Why? why? Why do I have such a hard time just exceeding my expectations? Was the music the problem this whole time? It was just kind of like lo-fi chill in the background, but I could go for a face-melting banjo solo. Yeah, you know what? Let's use this to our advantage. We'll, we'll try to turn it into momentum somehow. And I, I think I've figured something out. I don't actually need to watch her or the guy or where they intersect. I just need to watch the number. When I think it's gonna reach zero, I tap. Right? Just keep watching and tap when it hits zero. It seems so easy, but it's really, really, really not. Okay, we're all up to the space chocolate chips. Now, we just need to tap at zero. Nope. Nope. Oh, I can feel my blood boiling. Nope. What, muscle baby? I don't want to download you right now. Banjo is helping somehow. I, I think it's just further pissing me off. I'm like the Incredible Hulk. The angrier I get, the stronger I get. I was gonna get stronger and stronger and keep throwing and... Ah. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Buddy Toss, guys. My cholesterol is nowhere near a safe place to finish this video. But if you guys wanna see more Buddy Toss, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe we'll return to see what exists outside of our universe. Or, or just throw a lady into the sun, whatever comes first. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.